And good morning. This is Rev Myron. And today I'm going to be talking about A Course in Miracles Lesson 244, which says, I am in danger nowhere in the world. Your son is safe wherever he may be, for you are there with him. He need but call upon your name, and he will recollect his safety and your love, for they are one. How can he fear or doubt or fail to know he cannot suffer, be endangered or experience unhappiness when he belongs to you, beloved and loving, in the safety of your fatherly embrace? And there we are in truth. No storms can come into the hallowed haven of our home. In God, we are secure. For what can come to threaten God himself or make afraid what will forever be a part of him. And so of course I cannot be harmed or suffer. I am pure spirit. What could hurt the spirit? Jesus says that we are thought in the mind of God. How can I ever be in danger? But when I identify with my true self, I know that, I know that this is all nonsense, this idea of danger. Whatever happens to the character does not affect me. I stand outside the character and watching her experience, noticing the effects of the beliefs being played out in her life. I am the one deciding which beliefs to release to the Holy Spirit, but always from outside the character herself. Here is what is happening because of this practice. No matter what thoughts show up in the mind, I either believe them or I release them quickly and easily. Some thoughts no longer show up. When I see or hear someone acting out of their ego, I usually don't react other than to notice that this one needs love. I feel the love infusing the relationship. All along, I am moving away from the belief in separation. I know that every other person must awaken and until they do, I'm not done. Just as Jesus is not done because we have not all awakened. He stays with us. The part that has most of my attention now is his identification as a separate individual. I'm moving further and further away from identifying with the little self. I am letting go of the desire for personhood, or at least this is my goal now. I am beginning to notice when I refer back to a personal self. For instance, when I heard the hurricane was hitting New Orleans, I noticed that my first thought was that my son is in its path. Noticing this re reference to a personal self, I realized that this kind of thinking keeps me tied to the idea of being the character. <clears throat> and this realization helps me to let go of the self and thus to know myself, my capital S self, my real self. That is all I do with it. I don't try to think differently. I just let the mind shift <clears throat> at the rate that is right for me at this time. I stand back and let the Holy Spirit heal me. There's actually no personal. And so I'm only always instructing my mind to accept the truth of self. So thank you very much for being here with me today. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.